Awesome. Thank you. And so Annie is uh, the one whose beautiful voice you heard leading us in worship earlier. And can we welcome Annie? Come on in. Yeah, yeah. It's good and clean. All right. And so you can turn around and sit down right here. Yeah, yeah. There you go. It's going to be that easy. It's really warm. <laughs> it's really warm. And you can hold this or I can hold it oh, for you. I put my hand okay, on that's the okay. That's okay. I'll hold it for you. Um, so, Annie, it's so awesome to be able to do this. Um, you're a teacher yes. at Wood, right? Yes. And, okay, that's awesome. And I'm um, so excited. We're so grateful to have you at Valley. So thankful that you're serving using your gifts and talents. And um, is there anything you want to say to your church family uh, before we do this? Um, I just want to say thank you for all the support. Um, youth, I see you guys there in the back. It's awesome that you guys are here. Um, my family is taking up rows two through five up, or right over here. Um, I have a couple of friends uh, that are here too that came out from um, various places. So I I just love you guys so much and I'm so thankful for like the support and just um, everything um, over the past couple weeks um, this uh, transitional time in my life and I just want to say thank you guys it's been awesome getting to know you guys Cool. Thank you so much. Well, we're excited to be a part of this, and um, I wanted to ask you a couple questions, and we are, already know the answer, but just as a formality to publicly state these things, d have you received, placed your trust in the Lord Jesus Christ as your Savior? I have. And do you desire to uh, walk with Him and to allow Him to live His life of grace and truth through you all the days of your life here on earth? I do. All right. Well, Tammy. Uh, uh, upon profession of your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ as one of your pastors, it's an honor to baptize you now. You can cross your hand. Oh, there you go. And I'm going to baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. So cool. Next, I think we have Dominic. Do we have Dominic? This little guy's so awesome. And Michelle and Evan. Evan was playing guitar over here tonight and uh, has been on our worship ministry. And Michelle and them serving in kids' ministries in so many different ways over the years. And Dominic, this is so awesome that you're, you're wanting to do this. Go ahead and sit right here, buddy. And... Uh, your, your family's right there, okay? And I'm going to ask you a couple questions. First of all, how old are you? Seven. Seven years old. This is so cool that you want to do this at such a young age. Let me ask you a question. Have you, have you prayed to ask Jesus to come live in your heart? Yes. And do you believe that he died on the cross for you for all your sins? Yes. And that he rose from the dead on the third day? Yes. All right. And do you desire to let him live his life in you all your days? Yeah. Okay, that's so cool, buddy. Upon profession of your faith as one of your pastors, I'm going to ask you to plug your nose first, okay? And I'm going to baptize you now in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. And this next one, I believe, is Isabella uh, Lamantia. And so I'm going to step out of the way, and Kevin's going to come on up. And Kevin, here's a mic, and you can hand me the mic when you're done with it. All right. Come on in, Bella. Everybody give a round of applause for Bella yeah. one more time. So I remember the first time that uh, Bella started coming to our, our midweek youth group and uh, one of the first things she came to was one of our overnighters and overnighters are crazy and we got big bounce houses and games and like stuff everywhere and a lot of times um, our newer sixth graders are kind of intimidated a little, takes a little bit for them to kind of warm up and get used to it. and. Uh, not Bella. <laughs> Bella. She's walking around like she owns the place with just this, this confidence and uh, just, just such a joy to watch her um, and her friends hanging out and just getting to make so many memories of her uh, being 
goofy and saying and just doing goofy things. And uh, one of the things that I admire most about her is that she just doesn't care uh, what other people think um, about who she is. And I think that that um, is absolutely rooted in her knowing who she is in Christ and that her value um, worth does not come from what other people think about her, um, but, but who Christ says that, that she is and um, know that that's from her family and just all the people that, that have played a role in her life. And so that is something, Bella, that I admire so much about you and strive to be more like you in that way. Um, so let's do this. Uh, would you like to say anything, actually? No. All right. Uh, <laughs> have you trusted in Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? And do you commit to following him for the rest of your days? And our final one for this evening is uh, Anne. And so we're going to ask Anne to come out. And I, I sat down with Anne a couple of weeks ago and we went over things and got to know her a little bit. And she said she wanted to be baptized and she has been through a lot and God has been faithful to her uh, and to sustain you. You're a miracle that you're here today. Um, and we're thankful for you. <laughs> and uh, do you want to say anything to your church family? It's been a rough... It's been real hard for me. Mm -hmm. And I've been through a lot and I just didn't want to live anymore, and I wasn't happy with myself, and I have a year and 54 days clean off of that pivot of weeds. Amen. It's awesome. And I didn't want to die to that. I'm so proud of you. And I was damaged. Married a lot of people. Mm. Men. Mm. My own blood father. Mm. And I... I've given it to God, and I don't want to remember more, nor feel anymore. And you are a new creation, as we talked about in my office a couple of weeks ago. You've trusted in Jesus Christ, and yeah, and God's going to use you. Yeah. God's going to use you to bring his healing into other people's lives. We talked about that as well. I'm thankful for you. I'm thankful for your little doggy Lucy, too. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for hanging out with us on Saturday night. We're going to sprinkle her in just a minute, too, okay? I mean, the Catholics do it. Why can't we do it, right? So, based upon your profession of faith, yeah, in the Lord Jesus, okay? It is my honor and privilege as one of your pastors and a, and a friend to baptize you now. I'm going to ask you to plug your nose. Baptize you now in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Ghost. And let's bring, let's bring. <laughs> She got some of that. She got <laughs> so good, Ann. Thank you so much. First one we're going to call out is Skylar. And so Skylar is 15 years old. She's a sophomore. And uh, we're so excited. Pastor Kevin, as her youth pastor, is going to come out with her. And Skylar, come on up. We're so excited for you. The water is nice and clean and it's warm. Isn't that cool? <laughs> you can turn around and sit down. There you go. And uh, Kevin, did you want to say anything about Skylar? Yeah, so um, I met Skylar. We were just kind of talking about it probably um, two or three years ago at uh, one of our overnighters, her being there. Um, and it's just, uh, I remember her being such, uh, so much fun to be around. And uh, I'm just really excited. I actually didn't know that she was making the decision to be baptized today. And so I just walked in just so excited for her um, and just the path that God has for her. And I know he's given her so many gifts and talents that uh, he's just going to use in and through her. So I'm excited. 
Cool. Thanks, Kevin. Well, Skylar, I'm going to ask you just a couple of questions. And the fact that you're in here uh, tells us that the answer to these is yes. But uh, just as a formality so that you can publicly profess your faith in front of your church family, I'm going to first ask you, have you received the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior by faith? Yes, sir. <laughs> and do you desire... We're so proud of you. And do you desire to allow Jesus to live his life in you and through you all of your days on earth? Yes, sir. Well then, Skylar, upon profession of your faith, I'm going to ask you to plug your nose. Upon profession of your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, together in the presence of all your church family, it's my honor and privilege as one of your pastors to baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. <laughs> so proud of you, so proud of you. <laughs> so cool. Next up is Ian. And I'm going to bring Ian out with uh, one of his youth leaders is a great guy named Arnold Fitt, and he's made a big impact in Ian's life. And so as uh, Arnold comes out with Ian, Ian, you can cruise right into the tank here. I'm going to give Arnold the mic and come on down. Yeah, nice and warm. And then you can just turn around and sit right there and take it away, Arnold. So I had the privilege of getting to know Ian about a little over a year ago, and um, it's a great uh, blessing and a great grace of God that uh, God has placed him in my life and to mentor him and to teach him. And um, when I heard that he decided to, uh, wanted to get baptized, I was overcome with emotion and happiness knowing that uh, he is ready and that he is making this decision on his own. And uh, he was brought here to Valley by a friend. So this is a testament to why we should be bringing our friends to church because this is the result of giving your life to Christ and telling everyone that this is uh, what he wants to do and publicly doing that as well. So it's a great honor and privilege for me to be baptizing him today. Congratulations, Ian. The last one we have, Chaplain Ricardo is going to come out and baptize uh, Crystal. And so Chaplain Ricardo and Crystal, come on in. Chaplain, I will give you the mic and help you get down here, Crystal. Yeah. <laughs> and you can just turn around and sit down there. Okay. This is uh, Crystal Nance. She's been uh, coming to church here for, for the last two months. And I met her once, and we got into a conversation, and uh, she mentioned that she wanted to rededicate her life to the Lord. And so uh, I brought her into my office, and uh, we did just that. And now she wants to follow in obedience uh, in baptism uh, to uh, that commitment that, that she has made. So uh, now, uh, Crystal, uh, you have accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? I have. Okay. And you... Uh, are going to follow through your life, allowing him to be the Lord of your life? Yes, I okay. will. Okay. The first one I'd like to invite out is Mark. And so let's welcome Mark. It's always, go ahead and sit right. It's always a, always a privilege to baptize a fellow Crimson Tide fan. So, roll tide, I love it. <laughs> 
And uh, Mark, you got it. There you go. One more step there, and then you can sit down right there. Water's not too bad, is it? <laughs> okay, Mark, I'm so thankful for you and your wife, Kai, and just coming into Valley, merging in with us the last this last year. And um, Would you like to say anything to your church family? Sure. Um, I'm here today after 40 years of being a Christian, and in the brochure it said it's never too late to be baptized, fully immersed. My old uh, church didn't emphasize this, but I thought that uh, since we've been doing this 40 uh, weeks of uh, his story, and Jeremy's preaching has brought me to the point where I really am feeling filled with the Holy Spirit, sort of like this baptismal. I think I got filled up with Christ all the way to the top, and now it's starting to spill over a little oh, bit. Oh, that's cool. And some of those old grave clothes are going <laughs> awesome. away. Awesome, that's so cool. So I wanted to thank the church and awesome. everybody here and pastor cool. and staff for how far you brought me along. Thank you, Mark. My Bible study group, BSF, that we yeah. are in Acts this year, believe it yeah. or not. So it's all come together. So cool. Well, thank you. Thank you. And front row, beware, it will spill over a little bit I told him I'd splash. This is on my <laughs> Yes, yeah, splash zone like at, uh, you know, yeah, Six Flags, right? <laughs> yeah. So, all right, Mark. Well, it's such an honor and a privilege uh, to, as one of your pastors and a new friend in your life to baptize you. And, and so let me ask you a couple of questions. You already pretty much answered them, but have you received Jesus Christ personally as your Lord and Savior? Yes, I have. And you, do you desire to allow him to live his supernatural life in you and through you all the rest of your days on earth until eternity? I do. All right. Then I'll ask you to plug your nose. And as one of your pastors, it's such an honor and privilege to baptize you now in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. <laughs> so cool, Mark. Thanks, brother. Thank you, Mark. God bless you. Thank you so much. God bless you. I'll give you a hug when you're drier, okay? <laughs> yeah. I'm going to invite Marissa to come on up. Marissa, come on. Let's invite, uh, welcome Marissa. How are you? So, yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm going to hold that for you or you got it? Okay. You can step in one more step and then just turn around. All right. And go ahead and sit down if you'd like. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. So I'm going to give you, um, Marissa has a few things written down on a card. And so I'm going to give you a, a moment to share that with your family. So um, that's what led to my faith in Christ. And I, I grew up in a Christian family and had a strong faith as a child. But I mean, we went into the military and just lost my way for quite a few years. <laughs> and then my child got really sick the last several years and it, a lot of storms and a lot of broken times and and just now it says when did you accept Christ as your savior and last year it just she got really sick and she was in the hospital and was there laying on the floor waiting for her to get better and and something spoke to me and just said you know go not something God spoke to me and said you need to go to the chapel and I just was like well I don't know how to pray I don't know what to do and I went there and I just fell on my knees and all this time I'd been trying to control my life and control her illness and I just couldn't. Mm -hmm. And at that point, I just said, I give up control. Mm -hmm. And God came in. He was always there. I just allowed him back into my life. And I mean, even though things haven't gotten easier, now I know I have yeah. God and, yeah. and I'm carried by him when I'm yeah. broke. He helps lift me back up. and. That's where I am. So good, Grace Marissa. has transformed me. So good, Marissa. Thank you Thank so you. much. It's such an honor and a... Oops. Such an honor and a privilege, and we all want to say thank you for serving your country, and thank you for being a veteran, and uh, it's just such an honor to get to know you and your family, uh, and as one of your pastors and friends, it's my privilege to baptize you now, and so I'm going to ask you to plug your nose, and upon confession of your faith, you've trusted in the Lord Jesus, correct? Yep. And you desire for him to live his life through you all the days of your life into eternity. All right, then upon your public profession of faith as one of your pastors, it's my privilege to baptize you now in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. That's great. Thank you. I'll give you it. Great job. Okay, next is Kaya. Come on up, Kaya. And uh, Chaplain Ricardo. 
is going to share a little bit about Kaya, and Chaplain Ricardo is going to do this baptism. You're on. Well, we're here <clears throat> to baptize uh, Kaya. Uh, she has been a, a, a blessing to me uh, since I have met her, and uh, so I want to have her read her little card that she wrote here, okay? Uh, what led up to your faith in Christ? to church, meeting with Pastor Ricardo, and the prayers of my mom. Uh, when did you accept Christ as your Savior? 11, 20, 19, 5, 30 p.m. with Pastor Ricardo. Uh, what difference has Christ made in your life? Christ made me happy. Very good. Today I want to publicly confess my faith in Jesus as my personal Savior and Lord by being baptized. She, um, she really, really blessed me when she came into my office and we were talking and I was explaining to her uh, how we were going to baptize, how we were going to do it. She, she had a lot of questions. Um, and, uh, but uh, it was what really, really blessed me is when I said to her, okay, this weekend we're having a baptism. Do you want to be baptized? And she says, Oh, can we do it on another time? And I says, why another time? She says, I want to get saved first. So that was really a blessing. Man. Talking about someone doing it right, she's got it right. So I want to thank you for that. It's always an honor and a privilege whenever a family uh, gets baptized together, and we have the joy of witnessing that today. Um, Carmen is just someone that I've met over the past year or so, and uh, fairly new to Valley, and I'm so grateful for her and her family. Her daughter, Sophia, is actually going to be baptized after her um, by Sierra, one of her youth leaders, and then Pastor Isaac is going to baptize her son, Gabe, um, and Gabe is one of our champions, actually, and um, we're excited, and so, um, yes, and so, um, due to, to, to uh, some of his needs, we'll, we'll make the decision when we get there as to whether he's going to be in the tank or we'll do a spring but that's okay either way and so what we're just so excited about Carmen is to have you in our lives we're thankful for your kids we're so grateful that champions could kind of unite us and have a place for you to bring Gabe and um, and to be able to come and hear the Word of God and um, come on up and just let us celebrate this with you All right. so Carmen, would you like to say anything to this church family and just about why you want to do this today? Um, so I'm very grateful for um, a place. To, I'm sorry, I'm really emotional. It's okay. Um, a place to be able to bring my son and um, have him be able to feel the love of Christ. And every, so I'm a single mom and he comes to me on Sunday mornings from his dad's house. And as soon as he gets to my house, he says, are we going to Champions Club? <laughs> so cool. And he's, he's not very verbal, so he doesn't say a whole lot. So it means a lot to me. And, and when my daughter asked me if she could get baptized and asked me if I would get baptized with her, I, I didn't hesitate and I said it, yes. So, so then that's, and yeah, so that's. That's so cool. Yeah. Very cool, Carmen. Well, thank you for taking that step of faith and making it public in this way. And um, I, I've had some conversations with you already, but just as a formality, just to uh, speak it out in front of your church family, um, I'll ask you a couple of questions. Have you trusted in Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior to forgive all your sins? Yes. And do you uh, desire to allow him as you grow in your faith, do you desire to allow him to live his life of love in you and through you um, from now until eternity? Yes. All right. Then upon your confession of faith, 
faith, I'll ask you to plug your nose and upon your confession of faith and as, as one of your pastors and a friend in your life, it's my privilege to baptize you now in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Congratulations, Carmen. Yeah, thank you. Well, I'm going to invite Sophia to come on in, and I'm going to hand it over. Is Sierra here? Oh, there she is. Okay. So, no, no problem. So, Sierra's going to, she's had a special place in, in Sophia's life, and go ahead, Sierra, and share anything you'd like. Um, so, Sophia is one of our students that comes regularly on Sunday mornings, um, and I remember the first time she came, she was just full of energy and so much fun. Um, felt really comfortable just um, getting to know everyone um, on Sundays, and I've been really enjoying just getting the chance to see her um, proclaim her faith in this way and to be a part of um, the testimony that um, that she has and this relationship that she has with her family. Um, so thank you, uh, Sophia. Um, have you trusted in Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior to forgive your sins? And do you commit to following him um, all the days of your life? All right, so based on this confession, um, it's my honor to get to baptize you. Great job, Sophia. Now Pastor Isaac's going to step in. and Isaac, you can say yes. whatever, some words. Well, this is very special for us as a body valley. This is our first champion since we've launched that is getting baptized here at Valley Church. So I'm so excited about this. I love this family and it's always amazing to me when we've launched Champions Clubs, the incredible families that come into the local church. We believe God understands our special needs kiddos and loves them more than we ever could. And so today we're going to do this in a special way. We're going to go with the flow in terms of what Gabe is comfortable with, knowing that God understands and loves him. And I want to read something because as Carmen mentioned a few moments ago, he's becoming more and more vocal. And this is a post that Carmen posted just a few weeks ago, and she mentioned it briefly, but he's professed his love for Jesus even in these simple ways. She posted, so today Gabe's morning conversation consisted of him talking about the things he loves. Get this, mom, Thomas the Train, iPad, Champions Club, Jesus, fruit, and pizza. Man, that is awesome. <laughs> And she says, and, and his birthday, of course, says, I love that his language is emerging so much lately. So we're going to let him decide whether he wants to get in the tank or not. But mom, come on, step up with him, mama. You going to get in, Gabe? Come on, bro. Get in here. I want to pray for Gabe, and then we're going to baptize. Lord, we thank you so much for Gabe and this incredible family. We thank you for the call of God on his life as well. In Jesus' name, amen. Ba Gabe, I baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. Come on, give him a hand clap. Awesome. Great job.